Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another amazing color grading tutorial. I just came back from the Big Bear and I figured I'm going to do one tutorial for you guys because I've been gone for a few days. And um, we're going to be working today with a Black Magic Pocket Camera Raw. And I've shot this couple months ago. It was a very beautiful sunset here in San Diego. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check out the shadows because relatively I've been shooting it in a very low light. And as we can see here, there's a little bit of noise. And just to be safe, I'm going to do my favorite noise reduction. I'm going to call it NR. And right over here, I'm going to do my favorite two numbers, 2 and 10. And if you're new to my channel, the reason why I say it's my favorite number is because, in my opinion, it is absolutely the best settings to reduce the noise. Call this noise reduction. Okay. We have a very fantastic sunset, and the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the scopes over here. We're going to be working in RGB scopes. I'm not going to be using any LUTs for this tutorial. We're just going to go straight from the, from the original. And in my second note, I'm going to introduce a little bit of saturation. So I'm going to increase saturation individually per channel, RGB, just like this. Let me call this saturation and let's check it out before and after huge difference okay now I'm gonna create a parallel mixer and in parallel mixer I'm gonna call this WB first note gonna be white balance second note gonna be exposure slash contrast like basic okay so white balance let's check it out what we have here you can tell that our white balance is not perfect so i want to make sure we're working with a really good white balance and i'm just going to introduce it just like this okay i really like the sand but i don't like the clouds i like the clouds when they're a little bit colder but it's okay we're going to introduce that later so let's check it out before and after beautiful now let's see what we can do with exposure let's go to the custom curves and I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit to make sure we're preserving every bit of information. And I'm also gonna introduce a little bit of contrast. Just like this, very slightly. So let's check it out before and after. Really, really cool. So, next step. Next step, I wanna work on the sky. We're gonna call this one sky. And what I'm gonna do I'm going to create a window just like this. We make it bigger just like that. And I'm going to feather it down. Okay? Let's go back. And possibly because it was handheld, I'm going to track this window. That way whatever we do is going to be sticking to the actual effect, okay? All right, that looks pretty sweet. Let's check it out. All right, looks like it's sticking. So, for the sky, I want to introduce a little bit more contrast. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pull down on the midtones just like this. And as you guys can see, I'm introducing more dramatic effect like this. Okay. And on the darkest parts right over here, I want to add a little bit blue. So I'm going to be working in the shadows and I'm going to slightly add a little bit blue, just like that. Because I want to have a dramatic sky, you know, and I want to have regular pictures. So, like that looks really nice. Let me create another extra node over here and let's check it out before and after. So, that's what we have so far. Now, I'm going to create another node. And in this node, we're going to be working on the sun. So I'm going to call this one Sun. All right, let me bring those things a little bit more closer. And our sunset happens right over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a circle just like this. I'm going to stretch it just like that and make it possibly smaller. Or we'll see. All right. Like that looks beautiful. So what I want to do is to add a little bit warmth 
Okay, I want to make it very moody. And I'm going to add a lot of vignetting. And as a matter of fact, I actually can convert it to Bezier. And I can sort of add points. And we can kind of change a little bit how the shape looks. And we're going to make it softer, obviously. Just like that, a little bit outside. Okay, so let's check it out before and after very very nice now the only thing is i only wanna want our sun to affect the brightest parts so i'm also going to go in illuminance right over here and i'm gonna knock it down the shadows kind of like that we'll make selection softer okay that looks beautiful before and after okay very good and finally i want to track our mask just like this now i like everything about the picture but i want to make sure we also can see sand so i'm going to create another one and i'm going to call this sand and over here we're going to do a custom curve just like this okay and by the way if you guys grading a movie be careful obviously going that route because depending on the budget and all this this can very quickly turn into a nightmare if you have a lot of shots and you have to do this very particular type of color grading I'm showing it to you guys as example you know let's say it's a short commercial and you want to give a hundred percent look to sell whatever the commercial try to sell okay so we're gonna do it like that and I'm actually gonna track this thing first now that way I don't have to worry about it okay good sand let's turn selection and let's see what we can do well first thing I want to do is add a little bit of softening I want it to be too hard okay Kind of like this and then I want to introduce a little bit of orange color slightly slightly like this and I want to add a little bit brightness to the sand okay a little more a little more brightness I like that looks great and to counter the contrast I'm going to introduce more contrast because when you increase the brightness you're losing the contrast so keep that in mind all right so like that looks pretty cool okay maybe I'll make sand a tiny little bit warmer just like that okay let's check it out before and after before and after now that looks really really cool but I want to add something more. I want to add a gradient mask. Actually, I'm going to add a gradient mask in this node. That way we're going to be affecting all the previous. So we're going to call it gradient. Okay, and I'm going to put it like this. And in my gradient node, I just want to add a little bit of blue. kind of like this like that let's see let's make it a little bit more more baby blue okay let's check it out before and after so see we sort of created again kind of a teal and orange split like this okay let's check it out that looks absolutely fantastic and finally cherry on top what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a simple mask just like this okay just like that I'm gonna track it okay let's track this thing 
and I'm gonna give it a slight actually I'm gonna do it with the curves I'm gonna give it a slight little pop in the highlights just like that so check it out before and after before and after and maybe a tiny little bit in the midtones and we can see actually over here because we didn't soften it the effect of our mask so let's make it softer let's go a little bit inside let's go a little bit outside that looks perfect and let's check it out the effect of it very nice it's a little bit but it makes very huge difference okay it gives a very interesting accent on the light all right so let's check it out what we've done before and after let's go full screen let's check it out again before and after very nice thank you so much guys for watching next week i'm gonna start releasing my master series make sure to subscribe make sure to leave all your questions in the comments and i'm gonna be doing q a for you guys to answering all your questions